Hi guys, welcome back. It's Ladwina. Today I am doing a Urban Decay look. Um, I'm using my new, um, the new 15 year palette. And I'm using the Urban Decay NYC palette. So that's um, the look that you'll be seeing today. And I take you step by step. I've already done my foundation. The foundation that I'm using is Ben Nye. And it is in Sumatra. That's the color. It's a matte foundation. I love this foundation. Do a review on it one day. But that is, that's what I already did that and I already had my brows done. So I primed my lids and all that. I take you guys step by step so you can see that. And um, yeah, so I show you everything and I hope you guys enjoy the video. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for supporting me. Um, thanks for helping me grow. So, um, I'll get on to the video, but I hope you guys enjoy everything. So, until the next video, enjoy. Alright guys, so to start off this look, I'm going to prime my eyes with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I depotted it. That's what it looks like. Okay, and then we're just going to put that all over the lid as a primer. So now I'm going to go into my um, MAC shade in Saddle and I'm taking a fluffy crease brush which is my Revlon brush just like that contour brush and I'm going to put this right in the crease to help with blending. I'm going to take my NYX eyeshadow base. It is in skin tone. And that's what it looks like. And I'm going to take just a flat synthetic brush. And this is a Sonia Kashuk brush. It came in a set. And I'm just going to get some of that on the brush. And put it only on my lower lid or mobile lid. And blend it out. And this is to help the eyeshadow adhere better and uh, make the color stand out more. Now that that color's down, I'm just going to take my blending brush and just make sure there aren't any harsh edges and just blend that out back and forth softly. And that's what it should look like. Now I'm taking my medium eyeshadow brush, which is a Studio Tools brush that you can get from Target. And I'm going into my Urban Decay palette, the 15 year palette, and I'm going into Tainted, this very shimmery light pink. And I'm going to load that on my brush, tap off the extra, and then I'm going to pat this into the inner third. So now I just wiped off the brush. I'm using the same brush and I'm going into my NYC um, palette. And I'm going to use this pinkish purple color here called Bordello. I'm going to get that all on the brush. Tap off the extra. And we're going to put that right next to the, what's the name, Tainted and just concentrate it right in that area and blend once again wiping off the same brush and now I'm going into last call tapping off the extra and then we're going to put this on the outer corner of the eye keeping everything under the crease and just blending and 
Now to blend everything out, to add to the crease, I'm going in with this um, matte purple. It's called Shadowy Lady and it is by MAC. And I'm only using this because it's a matte color. I, need a, I don't want to put a matte all in my crease. So I just put a little bit of it on the um, Revlon contour brush. And I'm going to go right over the crease and start in small motions. And go all across lightly in circular motions to blend it. And that's in the crease, and then we take a little bit more and put it on our outer crease and start to blend. So now I'm just going to take a Q-tip and just make sure everything is all lined up. So I'll just pull it out on the ends. Okay. I want kind of a, a gold highlight. Um, so I'm going to go into the 15 palette, 15 year palette. And I'm going to take Chase. I'm using my e.l.f. C brush, it's an eyeshadow brush, and I'm just going to take a little bit of Chase, one swipe, and I'm going to put it right at the highest part of my brow, right there, and blend it out. And then I'll just take my blending brush. So now we're going to line our eyes. And I'm using the Urban Decay 24-7 liner in zero, which is black. And I'm going to tight line. And this is to make our lashes look as dark as possible on the base and then make sure you get in the water line don't take it all the way through just halfway now I'm going to do the top line and I'm using my Maybelline line stiletto and I don't know, this isn't black, it's like a, it has shimmer in it, but it's G701. Because I can't read what that say says, but um, that's what it looks like. See how it has the sparkles in it? So it's not just all black, and I don't know the name, but that's what it is. So anyway, I am putting that on the top line. Okay, so if you're a lash wearer, this is the next step. Um, I am using, I want to say, that's what they look like. This is the packaging they came in. So they are natural plus lashes. And I want to say these are, the numbers are 120. So that's what they look like. Um, the glue has already been applied. They've already set for about 15, 20 seconds. Now I'm going to apply them. So look down into your mirror, use your tweezers, place them right in the middle, and if it sticks, you're in business. And you can take your tweezers and start to place the corners. So 
So once that dot's done, I'll push, start pushing them into the lashes for a stronger hold. All right. There it is. Okay, so now that our lashes are put on, I'm just going to go over the line to make it straight again. So I'll just take my liner. So now I'm just going to take a rounded brush. This is I got from Michaels. It's a paintbrush. And I'm going to go into the chase, which is the gold highlight. And I'm going to put it right on the bottom inner third and a little in the tear duct. So now I'm going to take this iridescent purple in Omen. Same brush, I just wiped it off. And that I'm going to put on the bottom all the way over and blend it. I'm going to go back into the shadowy lady, that matte purple, same brush, and put it on the outer corner and just blend it. And now I'm just going to take a clean blending brush and then just blend everything. going to go with concealer. You use whatever concealer you have. Today my choice is the Amazing Cosmetics in Deep Golden. And you only need less than a little. So that is the amount I put on my hand. And I'm going to take my brush that came with it. The Amazing Cosmetics brush. But that's what it looks like. I'm going to get some on the brush and apply it. A little goes a long way. I find if I put on too much it gets weird throughout the day. It looks weird. See how this looks more lifted and better and this is not really done yet. So that's why you, I do this technique. Love it. I continue with the highlighting and I just go right down the bridge of the nose and then I blend. So now I'm going to set <clears throat> everything, foundation, concealer, everything. I'm using my Ben Nye face powder. I put it in a different container, but that's what it looks like. The color is Topaz, and I'm taking my little spongy, getting some of that on there, patting it all in there, and I'm going to start underneath and just press find that this helps um, the makeup, my makeup, last longer. It prevents me from having to um, pet throughout the day. This helps it last longer and wear better, in my opinion. So now I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush. This brush is an Essence of Beauty powder brush. And I'm just dust, make sure there's no excess oils, I mean excess powder. 
and just because I love this HD powder I'm trying to use it to get used to it and everything to see you know how to use it how not to use it so you, you don't have to do this step I'm just doing it because I want to see what it does I experiment so I just put a little bit that's probably too much in the in the cap get some on my brush just a little bit okay because this is still how much is in there so I just take it and sweep it in my t-zone because it does help with the oil so that's all just a light dust So now that all the powder is applied, I like to do my mascara after, um, this is the one I'm using, Smashbox. Um, I like to do it afterwards because then my lashes don't hold the powder and look all weird. So I like to do this after I powder. Do the bottom. And then we'll do the top lashes. If you don't have falsies, just regular, do your regular mascara. So now for blush, to stay in the um, purpley pink family, I'm going into Urban Decay's Fetish. And this color, I want to say it's discontinued. I know it came in cream. It, they had the cream color, but I don't know if you can still get it. But that's what I'm using today with this Studio M Professional brush. It's an angled um, blush brush. Can you guys see that? And that's what it looks like. And I'm going to go into the apples of my cheeks and go up. This isn't a highly pigmented um, blush. It is sheer. So it's not overpowering. You can take a little bit of and then just set it with the powder so now we're going to move on to the lips and I am still using my lip primer by Benefit and it is a lip plump but it doesn't plump my lips it just fills in the line make it more more of an even um, base so when I put my lipstick on it goes on even Now I'm going to put on my, a NYX liner in Prune, and that's what it looks like. After your lips are lined, I go in with my Ulta lip color in Sheer Plum. And over the top of it, I'm going in with my Lip Junkie in Peroxide. It's just a really sheer pink. And we're all set. So I'll zoom in so you guys can see everything up close so 
episode that is our look for today i hope you guys enjoyed it and to the next video bye